just did our um, video on first aid cabinets. Always have one in your caravan. Have a big one, you can see how big that one is. Keyed for kids and whatever. Right next to it we've got this little machine. Now yeah, it looks pretty familiar, it's a modem. So the modem is bolted to the wall. This modem is a old one I had, four port modem. Can't see the front where the lights would flash. I deliberately mounted it really close to this uh, medicine cabinet that's bolted to the wall here. Uh, mainly just because I don't like the lights. You know, they've all got flashing lights, constantly flashing. It just, I don't need technology uh, that much. And when I'm camping and stuff like that, I really don't want to play with technology. I don't even want to see it. Um, generally during the day it's left off because I don't like the Wi-Fi beaming into my head. Uh, or anyone else's. It's not actually a friendly stuff Wi-Fi. It's pretty much like a microwave oven being on in your house. Uh, so the less you got them on the better. Unless you're using it. So this one's pretty simple. Bolted to the wall. Plug into the power point. And we've just got a 3G dongle. So this one, this one's actually run through Exitel. Uh, we're about to change to get a Telstra kind of one because um, 4G's a lot faster now than 3G. Uh, and when we're on the road we need to you know, get the right coverage when Exitel was Optus. Uh, so that, that dongle there gives us the wireless internet, does a fine job, plug that in uh, by plugging a computer in as well. We set up the dongle with the password and all the stuff we need to know to make the internet work. Um, this one costs us about $5 a month to own it uh, and it's about $5 a gig. So it's only that cheap because we're on an old plan. We've had this one for oh, six, seven years or something now when Exitel first started up. Um, and I wouldn't actually recommend Exitel. I think they're, as a company, they're rubbish. Um, and these days, Telstra's getting pretty good. Like, again, not the biggest fan of them either, but Telstra plans are pretty good. You can get um, new little modems. They're only about this big. Tells you your bandwidth, how your usage and everything. Uh, and it can send it to about 10 devices. But uh, this one's pretty powerful. Uh, and we can be, you know, 50 metres away from the van and still get our wireless to do our blogging and all our different things that we need to do on the internet. Uh, so generally when I'm blogging or on my computer, um, I wouldn't want to sit in here and work anyway. Caravan's too cramped. Uh, I'd much prefer to be in the great outdoors. And uh, having an old modem, this one would have just gone in the bin otherwise, because it was an older model. Um, and instead, just bolt it to the caravan. You can buy a second hand one of these on eBay for probably five, ten bucks. Uh, this one's a billion. Uh, good good company billion. I like billion modems and again five dollar modem in the side and we can get coverage pretty much anywhere we are unless we're really off the beaten track so quick hack uh, you know bolt an old modem in and into your caravan plug it in plug a cheap USB dongle in and you've got your own internet because most of the parks we stay at um, when when parks offer the free Wi-Fi it's it's rubbish it's not strong enough if you're right next to the manager's office you might be able to get it uh, but, you know, generally I don't want to be sitting right next to the manager's office all day just to check emails or whatever. So, uh, yeah, you can bolt in your own modem, uh, plug her in, and when you're on a powered site or running the solar, um, we've got internet for about 50 metres around us. And, uh, you know, it does the job perfectly. So just another quick um, camping hack. Get a first aid kit as well. Check ya.